So the gentleman uh, this video is about is um, was actually a, a distant relation of mine. Um, so he's my granddad's cousin. So my mother's sad is uh, my mother was a Parsons and Jackie Parsons was a bit of a face in Middlesbrough. Uh, I would imagine probably around the 50s and the 60s. Um, I only kind of remember meeting him once. I was about 10 or 11. Uh, my nana took me downtown and I seen him kind of just outside the Cleveland Centre. Um, small guy, smoking a cigar, flat cap. And uh, I'd heard the name, but I remember my nana said to me, oh, he was a, he was a proper fighting man in the town. Uh, grew up on kind of stories. I'm not even sure whether they're true, but, you know, the, the stories that uh, a lot of my family used to, well, still do to this day, use the Western Social Club. And Jackie would kind of go fighting loads of men lined up against the wall. I'm not even sure whether I said the truth, but uh, I think I think most people will remember the name. Uh, I remember talking to Tommy Harrison years ago, and he told me a few stories that he was kind of, I suppose, the man in the town. Um, I know from speaking to some of Lee Duffy's friends that Lee kind of idolised him. Um, every time Lee would see him in the green tree, He'd buy him drinks and quiz him on, you know, kind of the Middlesbrough town of yesteryear. Um, yeah, Jackie Parsons, he's, you know, I think if anyone, I mean, I, I'd, I'm, I'm out of true crime now. I'm not saying Jackie Parsons was a was a criminal, but I think if anyone ever kind of merits a book, particularly in Middlesbrough, it was him. Um, saying that he's, you know, there's a, he's gone. I think he's been past now 20 years in November. Um you know, so a lot of the people that probably would have known him very well are long gone. But, um, yeah, JP, he was known as. They used to have JP on his links. And if you look at one of the pictures in the uh, this video, he's actually got JP on, uh, on embroidered in on his uh, on his chest. Uh, yeah, there are lots of different stories regarding Jackie. Um... I presume he was some kind of doorman. A lot of people have said to me he was, you know, a man of respect, a man who everyone really welcomed and, and liked. Never a bully, but he was a real fighting man and uh, very much a proper name in the town of Middlesbrough. Um, let us know your thoughts. Let us know your comments below. Uh, I personally would like to, to learn a bit more about him. Um, yeah, he was kind of... From from over the border, or I think better known as Cannon Street, which is long gone now. Uh, a lot of people have said, you know, the salt of the air people would come from over there. You know, you could leave your door open, all that kind of thing. Um, my mum's side come from Berry Hills, which a lot of them kind of... But I think the they originally came from Cannon Street, um, with my granddad Albert Parsons and... Yeah, there's a big, big, big family of them. Most people, you know, will kind of know the, the Dismores and the Parsons. and uh, But yeah, Jackie Parsons. Uh, small in stature, but a giant of a man. And um, forever embedded in, in folklore and Teesside. Um, you know, he's been gone 20 years and he's still been spoken of. And every time I meet, kind of meet people and the name comes up, they just smile because... They've got great memories of him. Um, you know, he, he was basically... When he, when he was getting on, I'm told, you know, he'd go into pubs and he was kind of treated like royalty. A lot of people couldn't buy a drink. and um, Yeah, the, the only memory I have of him is a small guy, small cigar, flat cap. And it didn't kind of add up to the stories that I used to be told about him. But, um, yeah, leave your comments below. I'm sure there'll be some people in and around Middlesbrough that'll know... Far more interesting stories on uh, Jackie Parsons. Yeah, don't forget to click and subscribe.